who is Chief Justice Maria Lourdes Sereno. She was born in Manila on July 2, 1960 to Mr. Margarito Aranal, who is a native of Siasi Sulu, and Mrs. Soledad Bonzalan. She had an excellent career. She graduated class salutatorian from Kamuning Elementary School in 1972 and with honors from Quezon City High School in 1976. She furthered her studies and took BA Economics at the Ateneo de Manila University and finished the degree in 1980. She decided to take Bachelor of Laws at the UP College of Law, graduating as cum laude and class valedictorian in 1984, the same year where she also passed the bar examination. She furthered her studies and took MA Economics from UP and finished it in 1992 and Master of Laws at the University of Michigan Law School. She is a judge who served as a de facto Chief Justice of the Philippines Supreme Court from 2012 until her removal in 2018 and is regarded as the first female appointed Chief Justice. Her appointment as Chief Justice of the highest court in the country was consequential to her excellent educational and career backgrounds. Since graduation, she has been working with various government offices like for example, the Office of the President, the Office of the Solicitor General, Manila International Airport Authority, and the Department of Trade and Industry, as well as an educator at the University of the Philippines. Throughout the 25 years of her being a lawyer and an educator, she has achieved various distinctions. To mention, she was awarded the Outstanding Women in the Nation's Service in 1988, Most Outstanding Alumna Award in 2000 from Quezon City High School, Most Outstanding Alumna Award in 2003 from Kamuning Elementary School, and Provincial Citation from Camarines Sur in 1991. She was a peace-loving Chief Justice, but in 2017 to 2018, she elicited much attention from the Filipinos and the world. She was accused of high crimes, and despite her excellent professional track record, she was ousted as a Chief Justice of the Supreme Court on May 11, 2018 through a Kuwaranto petition on the basis of an invalid appointment. This seriously violated her constitutional right to an impeachment process. Interestingly, this might have brewed because of her letter to the President of the Philippines regarding war on drugs. However, she claims that she has clear conscience over the allegations and she did not take any government money for her personal gains. Now, let us look into Sereno using Filipino psychology concepts and Filipino indigenous studies. First, on the internality externality of Filipino personality. Contextually, it can be observed that Sereno has not dwelled on Puri but instead focused on Dangal. Puri connotes honor that is built on external processes such as compliments, while Dangal is the recognition of one's actual value, character, achievement, and success from inside. It can be recognized with an award or attribute, but it can also be recognized within the individual without such external gestures. In a study by Castillo and colleagues in 2019, Dangal was expounded by themes coming from responses among 128 Filipino participants. Dangal was seen as something that is embodied in a culture, bestowed by the community, or by virtue of the good deeds done that benefited the society. For someone like Sereno, this is not new. She has been active in her duty as a lawyer and defended countless Filipinos who were tried in court. Considering her excellent track record in and out of academic and professional life, her Dangal must have been so intact. Further, in that same study, Dangal was evidenced to have been connected to the or dignity. Accordingly, it must have been lost in translation and the two words could mean the same thing. That is actually what Sereno has exemplified not only during and after her house as Chief Justice but more importantly as a person. Despite being ousted as a Chief Justice of the Supreme Court, she has not diminished her value towards herself. She has remained true to what she was coming from. She was also not actively defending herself and was not looking to saving herself by being present in media platforms. Instead, she exuded dignified silence because she knew her worth even though there is a strong likelihood that she will be ousted from her possession. Second, 
She employs some Filipino core values such as pakikiramdam, karangalan, katarungan, kalayaan, and most importantly, pakikipagkapwa-tao. Pakikiramdam, a technique that demands a person to actively sense or feel out the circumstance and the other person in a social contact before carefully deciding on an acceptable response, was observed to be displayed by Sereno not only during her trial but also throughout her life. This was evident on her dealings with those associates justices who thought ill of her while she was working with them. She has behaved in a way not to offend or to hurt those who accuse her of high crimes. Moreover, there is also the presence of kagandahang luhob in Sereno or the predisposition of a person to be sensitive to the needs and goals of a broader group which is the society. Sereno has shown her care towards the Filipino people by working right as a chief justice even if despised by her colleagues because of her excellent work. She values kagandahang loob which makes her appreciate karangalan or dignity, katarungan or justice, and kalayaan or freedom. There is also the thought that this is brought about by pakikipagkapwa-tao, the central concept of psikolohiyang Pilipino, which is evident in her dealings and in divorce. In a comprehensive discussion, Clemente and colleagues in 2008 resonated the concept of kapwa and posited that the core of Filipino personality is kapwa or a sense of shared identity. Pakikipagkapwa rests on how a Filipino perceives the other as either hindi ibang tao or ibang tao. In Sirena's case, throughout her life, as evidenced by this one event that had opened up her life, has chose to treat both hindi ibang tao and ibang tao as kapwa but on different ways and levels. One can also say many things about her. In her professional life, she had fully utilized pakikitungo or civility, pakikisalamuha or interaction with, pakikilahok or joining, pakikibagay or conformity, and the highest form, pakikisama or being along with, with co-workers whom she considered as ibang tao. Considering that she is a lawyer, she must have considered several people as ibang tao, but nonetheless has interacted in ways that are embodied by pakikipagkapwa. Moreover, those within her inner circle, those whom she considers hindi ibang tao, her interactions would include pakikipagpalagayang loob, pakikisangkot, and pakikiisa. As a chief justice and as someone who has excellent track record, she has exuded this in her dealings with her clients and most especially on how she has stood her ground and not resigning from her post despite the call of some of her colleagues. In conclusion, Psikolohiyang Pilipino underscores that Filipino personality is deeply rooted in Filipino core values, especially pakikipagkapwa-tao. This is evident on how Serena puts great emphasis on her clear intentions in being appointed as the Chief Justice of the Supreme Court. She has also remained true to what her values taught her to be right in accordance with universally accepted principles and morals. Her dangal remained intact despite being ousted as a Chief Justice because she knows her word as not being dependent on outside forces. Serena's track record strongly suggests that she is more than qualified for the position and her removal from the Supreme Court is politically motivated nonetheless. Contrastingly, she exited kagandahang loob and chose not to give in to her detractors. Instead, she advocated for the truth and for justice. In her statement, our guide should be the Constitution and the Constitution alone. The Constitution is the ruler and the authority in the Philippines, not one man. She has proven her strong sense on dignity and justice. She put forth into the front that her strong adherence to staying true to her dangal. She gracefully exited the Supreme Court, her dangal intact, and vowed to herself and to her country that she does not need to be the Chief Justice to defend the laws and institutions, underscoring her unending love for her country and her fellow men, embodying the essence of kawa and wakikipagkawa tao. That is, former Chief Justice Maria Serena. Bueno.